What's up guys? So today I'm gonna finally get to what I've been wanting to do, put my wing back on my car. I love the duck bill, but I love the wing more. <laughs> I originally got the duck bill because I was able to put the reimagined wraps down the back of it like that. It's good for advertising when you're driving down the road. But I've been feeling the wing, I miss that thing. So it's time to go back to the wing. Currently the wing is under there. It's in two pieces. It's been my storage rack for a little bit. It's been my storage rack for a little bit over a year. But my plan is to, I want to leave the insides of it black. The top of it and the sides of it I'm going to probably go with a camo to match the, the car. That way it still has some black in it. And the top of it was faded pretty bad before I did anything, uh, before I took it off the last time. The paint was actually fading on it, so I might have to do a little bit of light, like wet sanding on it. And as you can see, it's been sitting in here with shit all over it, so it's probably pretty beat up now. Down here, you could see where the chairs and stuff have been hitting it, because it's been sitting in the garage. So, it's going to need a little bit of work, but today I'm getting started. So I'm gonna get started on this. Um, I use double-sided tape by 3M um, to get this thing mounted. And this stuff's pretty sturdy. It doesn't come off very easily. So what I'm gonna do is get my heat lamp in, um, up and ready. I'm gonna put the heat lamp on it for a little bit. Meanwhile, I'll clean the surrounding areas because I'm most likely gonna have to rewrap this trunk. Um, the 3M tape sticks on there really good. So when I get this, this uh, spoiler off, it's most likely gonna damage the wrap which I have enough wrap left over to rewrap it if I need to. If not, that's a bonus. It's gonna be a lot faster for me. Definitely gonna leave the spoiler wrap though. This uh, duck bill. I like how this came out. The decal down the back of it looks good too. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this wrapped. See if I can get it off without damaging it. So this is just a dishwashing, like soap and water mix, and a microfiber just to clean up the surrounding areas. If you don't want to wash the whole car down. Yeah, it's already loosening it up pretty good. This heat lamp is awesome. <laughs> it's making me hot now though. So I'm just getting my fingers up underneath it, pulling outward. It's a fiberglass spoiler, so it's, it's a little bit flimsy. I guess you could break it if you're not careful. Now I didn't want to use fishing line because that, that'll 100% definitely damage the wrap. So I'm trying to see if I can get away with it a little bit. Yeah, 
that came off a lot easier than I was expecting, though. I thought this was going to be a real pain. Oh, there goes the wrap. The wing might cover that, though. I might get lucky. Officially wingless. So since the wing is taken apart right now, I'm gonna move the car forward, put up another table real quick, and get the wing bolted back together. That way I can bolt it back onto the trunk. a little bit some of the spots were damaged permanently like that's not coming out right there that's not coming out unfortunately but um the top was looking like this it was real peeled up from uh before like when i first pulled it off so not from sitting or anything this is just from being in the sun before i wrapped the car originally 